Hello everyone. Thank you for visiting Kimono Japan channel. My name is Kimono Hitomi. In my video, I'd like to introduce Japanese culture through the scope of kimono. If you're interested in kimono, Japan and its culture, please stay tuned with my YouTube channel. では今日もどうぞよろしくお願いいたします。In this video, I'd like to introduce you about seasonal differences of kimono. Before this era of global warming, four seasons were experienced distinctly in Japan. Japanese people in the old days could enjoy three months each of spring, summer, fall, and winter, with each season markedly different from the others. The national appreciation of the four seasons can be observed in various traditional arts of Japan. Kimono design is no exception. Japanese kimono designs are inspired by the various flowers and scenes of nature and often include certain flower design motifs. In the old days, upper class Japanese people enjoyed coordinating their kimono to the time of the year or special events. And that is still respected in kimono culture. Aside of design aspects, there is another aspect of kimono seasonality, which is of fabric material and structure. Generally categorized, there are four different types of seasonal kimono awase, hitoe, natsumono or usmono, and wataire kimono. For example, all the kimono introduced in the previous videos up to number six were awase kimono, which comes with lining. This kimono is hitoe, hitoe kimono. So this kimono doesn't have any lining. Hitoe means single layer. As the name itself describes, hitoe kimono does not have a lining. Well made kimono usually has a partial lining at the back bottom part of kimono as shown here. Hitoe kimono can be worn before and after the midsummer, which are two months altogether in a year. In between spring to summer and then from summer to the fall. But when there is a pattern placement like this, iris. When there is a seasonal flower pattern motif placed on your kimono, if your kimono has seasonal flower motif like this, season specific flower motif, such as iris, you have to really pay attention to appropriately wearing your kimono to the season. The time you can use this type of kimono is a just before that particular flower starts to bloom and during the timing the flower is blooming. So the duration of the kimono use would be maybe only about a month. So it's quite a luxurious kimono if you have any season specific flower motifs. Coordination today is with dark purple color shiose textile obi. Obi has a yuzen dai design of Japanese doll-like girl dancing with a fan in her hand. Front side of obi has a fan design nicely accentuate upper casual or semi-formal style. Obiage is a similar color to the obi color, dark purple, and the obi shime is hirauchi, flatly woven white color base with some purple color stripe patterns. This kimono is tsukesage homongi, with iris flower motifs of hand brush dye technique on Seika Chiriman textile. As shown, the design motifs are arranged to go over the seam, which is called Eba Moyo. Well created hand brush dyed kimono design looks beautiful even in the reverse side of the textile, as seen here. There are more to be introduced about the seasonal differences of kimono, but those will be in the next video. In the next video, 
more details of textile features in each seasonal kimono will be presented. Hope you enjoyed the video today and the introduction to kimono culture. If you like my video, please subscribe or click the like button, which gives me a great encouragement working on my videos. Thank you for watching Kimono Japan channel. Hope to see you in my next video. 本日もご覧くださってどうもありがとうございました。次回もどうぞよろしくお願いいたします。